All right, question 32. About a century ago, writing in the crucible of the early Cold War, American historians were convinced that something ran deep among US citizens, linking them to one another, a national personality or fundamental essence that made Americans American. By some alchemy, out of the blending of inheritance, environment and experience, there came a distinctive American character. So this is the first point that has been given in the paragraph. American histo historians were convinced that a national personality or fundamental essence that made Americans Americans was present. Next, in the 1960s, when political and cultural events, not to mention challenges from new left historians, made it harder to think of America in singular terms. There seemed to be too much conflict and diversity to locate a co- Social historians turned away from sweeping claims about all Americans in favor of detailed local studies of specific groups. Slaves, pioneers, farmers, mill hands, shopkeepers, and immigrants. Suspicious of attempts to plot a unitary tradition, they disavowed not just previous definitions of American patter, but the notion of defining one at all. So there are three parts in this paragraph before we get uh, to, you know, Finding out what the essence can be. For the first point is that there is something which unifies all Americans out of the blending of environment, experience and inheritance. The second point is in the 1960s when political and cultural events made it harder to think of America in singular terms. And the last paragraph, okay, he says, preferencing detailed local studies of special groups over indiscriminate claims of oneness, social historians repudiated the very idea of national character. All right. So they disavowed or they repudiated not just previous definitions of American character, but the notion of defining one at all. All right. So three parts in this paragraph. So if you look at the choices, the choices are slightly bigger over here. Choice A. A century ago, American historians believed in a national personality that linked all Americans because of their influence, environment and experience. This particular sentence covers point number one and two. In the 1960s, political and cultural events, including challenges from new left historians, seemed to disallow this oneness. This again covers point number two. And the last sentence covers point number three. So choice A captures all the points in the paragraph and therefore it is the answer to the question. Choice B, everything more or less covers the same thing that has been given in choice A. But over here they say in the 1960s, political and cultural events from new left historians seem to disallow the oneness. This is not correct and therefore choice B can be ruled out. Choice C is a mix of all points. And what is wrong over here is the conflict and diversity by specific groups like slaves, etc. These names have been given in the paragraph, but it is not the conflict and diversity of special groups. So this particular idea makes it wrong. And we don't need to have all these examples of shopkeepers, slaves, pioneers, mill hands, etc. in the summary. Therefore, C can be ruled out. In choice D, everything is fine except the last statement. The last statement, social historians suspiciously disavowed the notion of defining one at all as it turned away from sweeping claims about specific groups. This particular sentence makes it wrong and therefore it can be ruled out.